All right, let's go to the Frontier Communications fan guest hotline and bring in the 24th head coach of the Ohio State Football Buckeyes, Urban Meyer. Coach, you're on with Anthony Rothman and Demetri Stanley. Welcome in. It was great to be on with you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, I know you can't discuss recruits by name, but from everything we're hearing, you've been making quite an impact in your short time on the job and perhaps even flipping a couple guys, big defensive guys. Uh, I guess in vague terms, can you describe the impact you think you're having and what your sales pitch is right now early on? Well, the sales pitch is that, you know, there's a perception out there that Ohio State is broken, and that can't be further from the truth. Ohio State had a great football coach in Jim Trestle, a bunch of good coaches. It's great facilities academically. We're in great, we're in fantastic shape. The GPA, the APR, um, are the two measurable statistics for academics. And then, you know, the thing that is going to change is offense. You know, we, you know, if you say what's going to change at Ohio State, and so the impact we're making, I think, is there's excitement. Uh, there's not a whole lot of things to fix. It's still Ohio State, and so the kids know that. And I promised my biggest promise to them is I'm going to try to hire the best football, the best coaching staff in America. So that's, and I think they believe that. You know, I think there's a history there where they can look back and say, you know what, the one thing he knows how to do is to surround himself with the big time quality football coaches that can get them where they need to be. And that's our big sales point. Uh, the impact, you know, it's still too early to tell. Signing dates a long ways away. Uh, you know, guys are flipping and flopping, and that's going to happen. Uh, but the impact, you know, I, I think in a month we'll know. Obviously, in a month we'll know. But I think it's we're we're, we're jumping the gun if we start saying, "Boy, we've made a great impact," because we're we're just hanging in there and doing the best we can. All right, Coach. Well, my name is Demetrius Stanley, and I'd like to welcome you here. I played at Ohio State in the '90s, and I don't know if you remember the name Wayne Stanley. Do you remember that by any chance in the '80s? Oh yeah, that's my father's. Wayne. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, that's my father, and I I spent a lot of time around there when I was younger. But we'll just like to talk to you about about this balance thing that you said you're going to try to bring into the picture and the contract with your family and trying to make everything work. I mean, is, does that seem like it's going to be a difficult thing considering that you're trying this new now in a in a high pressure situation like Ohio State? Well, there's you know I think when people use the word pressure. Uh, there's pressure if you're a police officer. There's a lot more pressure than if you're a football coach. So I, I don't buy the pressure part. I buy the the uh, the pursuit of perfection. That you know, you just you, there's got to be a time to shut her down and go home. There's got to be a time to shut it down and go to church and and then spend time with your family. And I've always I've been kind of a nut job as far as you know. <laughs> you try to grind to a point where you can't grind anymore. But I try. I did actually do a good job of keeping relative balance in my life where I would shut things down and go re-energize and you know how do you re-energize you get around those you care about that's my family so I you know I'm going to do a much better job of that Uh, I made a comment in the press conference I went somewhere that I'd never want to go again and that's to the point where I was unhealthy and and, uh, consumed so that's not going to happen all right well and you know, you came to Ohio State for the obvious reasons. I mean, it's Ohio State. You know you can get the talent. But what is it that you specifically saw that brought you back as you left Florida with, the, you know, some of the health issues and wanting to be with your family more? But what was it that brought you back, and, and of course, Ohio State, but what else was there in this picture that you saw? Well, it's Ohio State, and, and it's home. You know, uh, I love Florida. I always will. Um, and – I don't think I would ever coach anywhere else other than a chance to go home. And, you know, I've already talked to, you know, my family's in Cincinnati now. Uh, I've, you know, been around the country. And one of the parts that you always missed when you are bouncing around the country is when you get a chance to go home and be around the people you grew up with, the high school football that you know, and a lot of the high school coaches I've known from my days when I was here and also coaching the Bowling Green. So what's different about Ohio State and why Ohio State? Uh, it's, it, it is Ohio State. And to me, I, I remember coming here. You know, the first time I was back in the stadium since I think 88 was when I was with ESPN to broadcast the Akron game. And when that band came out of the tunnel, you know, I, I'm sitting there and took a towel and started wiping my face because I had tears rolling down my face because that was, that's all I knew growing up is the greatest band in college football, the greatest stadium, and, and uh, I'm a Scarlet Jersey. So it was an emotional time. Talking with Coach Urban Meyer here on the Frontier Communications Fan Guest Hotline and the big show, Anthony Rothman, Demetrius Stanley. Uh, you've expressed your admiration of Luke Fickle. Uh, can you tell us what you're thinking right now about what position title he may hold? Well, he'll call the defenses. Uh, you know, all the other 
titles, you know, in this day and age with uh, titles and everything else. You know, I know Luke's not worried about it. That's probably the most impressive thing about Luke is he's a man's man. He loves football. He loves Ohio State. He loves his wife and kids. And we, we talk about his wife and kids as much as we talk about football right now, which I really enjoy that. And, and there's a perception that, you know, Luke Fickle maybe is still on her staff because he did a really good job for Ohio State. He's loyal. He is a Buckeye. He's, you know, won the state heavyweight wrestling championship. All that is really true, and it's great. That has no bearing on why he's at Ohio State still. He's at Ohio State still because he's a great football coach, and he's got a great track record of uh, developing top defenses. So he'll call the defenses, and we're still trying to finish up our staff, but uh, it's in pretty good shape. Will he be defensive coordinator or co-coordinator? I've heard the name North Carolina head coach Everett Withers. Is he in the picture? Uh, he's in the picture. I can't say. I don't know if it's official yet or what's when we can close the door on that. Uh, he is in the picture, and uh, Luke Fickle will have the title. It might be co, it might not, but at the end of the day, uh, he'll be calling the defenses. Terrific. Uh, I know that uh, you, your time is limited, but I want to ask you about Braxton Miller's development. What's most important to you in his development as a quarterback in your system? You know, I, I don't want to – the number one development, uh, and it's really not so much development, you better be a competitive sucker to play quarterback. Uh, you better be tough. You better be intelligent. You better have leadership. If you don't have those, and really you can't play. I don't care how good – how well you throw the ball, how well you run. And my initial reaction and perception of Braxton is he has those qualities. I can't really tell you what he needs to work on because I've not worked with him yet. I've spent time with him. I actually talked football a little bit with him briefly. My goal is to stay out of the way and let him go win a bowl game and then jump all over him in January. So I'll let you know more in sometime late January when uh, I get to spend time with him. And obviously after spring practice, I'll give you a complete evaluation of him. Sounds good. Uh, we appreciate your time, and we look forward to uh, spending some time with you in person. But good luck. I know Buckeye Nation is thrilled that you're here, and uh, we thank you very much for the time. You bet. Go Bucks. Thank you, Coach Urban Meyer, on the Frontier Communications Fan Guest Hotline. Very chill dude. I think he's very real. <laughs> he's, he's real chill, that's for sure. All right, so we'll uh, recap that. I think we got a little informational nugget there and how the defense is shaping up. We'll react to that and take your calls as well, 821-9710. We'll do that at 131 on the big show. Anthony Rothman, Demetrius Stanley, 97.1 The